Welcome to ATP Customs. Well, today you guys get a weekly report on all the projects in the shop. We've got some changes happening this week. And I know that if you clicked on the video because of the thumbnail, that's really what you want to see. I will get to that project shortly. We'll just run through these quickly. Let's start in the corner on the crazy Mercedes. Crazy Mercedes, Mr. White is doing a bunch of body work still. We're way behind on this one, but he's almost at the point of getting the primer gun out. Once he gets that out, that'll be exciting because then the car starts looking different. Car starts looking a little more together. So we're almost at primering stage, hoping that we're there by the weekend, but there's been a lot more issues than we ever thought in this uh, car. It was so full of Bondo. <laughs> I mean, like some of the spots were an inch thick. So all those spots you see are just lightly skimmed and getting blocked down. And it'll be, it probably lost 30 pounds in Bondo on this car. He's had to do a lot of metal work. So the crazy Mercedes is coming along. The twin turbo F-150 build for the guys over at Total Hardcore Canadian Customs is all torn apart, you notice. Quick rundown on that. We were originally going to have the guys over at Calver coatings, do the powder coating and uh, sandblasting. But they were three weeks behind, so they thought they would try another company that was a little closer to where they are. And that actually took almost two months to get the frame sandblasted and powder coated. And then they powder coated it according to a color, color code that these guys had given them. And uh, it ended up looking like this. So they decided, well, that's not quite the color we wanted, but it's already done, so we will move ahead. Then when we had Calver Coatings do the wheels and the calipers in the same color code, they ended up looking like that. Let me just pop a picture up of the wheels. So now we have a little dilemma. Do we redo the frame or do we redo the wheels and the calipers? And this was the actual color that the uh, guys at Total Hardcore Canadian Customs wanted. So we had to strip the whole thing back down to the frame and it is now over at Calver Coatings <laughs> getting redone. Round two. So the twin turbo F-150 is now, uh, since it's all torn apart, is going to go over to their shop and they are going to start moving ahead with the, uh, the paint, a little bit of primering, a little bit of light body work and get it ready for paint. And then uh, when we get the frame back, could be two months though before we get it back, but when we get the frame back, we'll assemble all the chassis here, motor transmission, and then uh, get to set the cab on after they're done painting. So we will not see the twin turbo F-150 for a little while. It's always nice to get a little break on a vehicle when you've been working at it for months and months and you get really tired. The guys uh, could use some more fun and excitement. So a change is nice once in a while. The 49 Ford. We are currently waiting on more parts for it. Uh, wheels and tires and also the body mount kit for bolting the cab and the box down. Those were shipped to me a couple of weeks ago and they got lost in the mail. And it really sucks because they actually had those parts in stock. So they are trying to figure out where those are. Apparently they were delivered to somebody else's place, not ours. So that is holding us up because then uh, we can't put the steering column in. We can't wire it up until all that's bolted down. <clears throat> so. Once that gets here, that'll be great. We can work on putting the front end together and get it over to the glass shop next. But it's looking good. All right, let's get to it. That's really what you want to see, isn't it? <laughs> it looks totally ridiculous. It's just awesome. So my dually. Well, these tires were ordered in for a customer who's building a crew cab long box. Those are 43 inch 
Mickey Thompson Baja Pro XS. 15 inches wide, 43 inches tall on a 17 inch wheel. And of course, I just had to see what they look like behind my dually because that's a tad much. I mean, 15 inches wide is uh, going to be a problem <laughs> trying to find wheels for that. But it allows me to get an idea of what I'm doing. Yeah, we are building a beastly dually. You will not see a set of 37s on this. I'm not sure still what tires I'm going with, but this allows me to get an idea. I won't be going quite as big as 43s, but I definitely think that 40s are too small. I think this thing should be bigger than my Jimmy. So I'm still shopping and looking around and studying. It's all based on wheels and what's available right now. But that looks just awesome. That is the look I want. The Baja Pro XS tires, I've never seen them in real life. This is the first set ever brought into my shop. And pictures online just don't do them justice. Those are deep. They're really deep. When you're looking at pictures online, you're like, oh, I don't know if they're quite aggressive enough. <laughs> well, they're just awesome. So that's what's going on on the dually. We're just trying out a set of tires to get an idea because then I can see how much room I have for a flat deck, which I do have room. And the frame, we have tried a uh, paint stripper from Rondex. They got an aircraft paint stripper that uh, works really well. You just brush it on. 20 minutes later, you can scrape it off with a little scraper. And then uh, we pressure washed it. <laughs> and then I can hit it with the wire wheel, clean it up properly. That was way quicker than cleaning it all off with a wire wheel and sanding and all that kind of stuff. It's probably a couple hours into that and it's not as hard on the body. So all the front's done. So now I get to clean all that up, rock guard it, stick a rear end under it and continue. Oh, why not? One more gander at it. Yes, we're building a monster. I would love to have 15 inch wide tires on my dually, but I don't know how to do that with the wheel options. How about that? <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, just, uh, just slowly puttering. I was hoping it would be running today, but I decided that I'm gonna clean up every part and polish it. And we have uh, all the back seat is all cut out. Probably start fitting it tomorrow. But there you go. It has a big block in it waiting for a supercharger. It's not all bolted up yet, but getting there. Haven't decided what we're gonna do for seats and all that kind of stuff. These are the original ones that were in it. That was the original orange. There you go. <laughs> the jet boat is uh, going to be running this week, that's for sure. That's your weekly report. I don't think you guys wanna hear about my little burnout truck. That's my garbage truck right now. There's nothing new to tell on it. The Jeep, we are waiting for a new rough country top for it. Had to order a roof for it. Apparently no doors of these uh, aftermarket half doors will fit with your factory roof. So rough country makes one that fits with your factory half doors and these are actual Jeep half doors. And it's really cheap. It's like 279 US for the whole roof with the side windows and the upper half doors. But you don't get the frames, so thankfully we have the frames for this one. And those won't be here until late in October. So the Jeep's waiting on parts. That's the fun for today. Yeah, I just have to keep coming back to these tires because they're so awesome. So I guess it's jet boat and dually time. Thank you for watching, and I hope you subscribe.